guys, it's Camille. I am the oldest sister, and today I'm sharing with you my recipe for pumpkin spice energy bites. See, aren't these cute? Everybody needs a little more pumpkin spice in their lives. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm a mom of four cute kids, and I currently am living on about 48 seconds of sleep a night. Um, my hair is full of dry shampoo, and sometimes my lunch consists of just the crusts that are left from my kids' sandwiches. I love crusts. Why don't my kids like crusts? But life is crazy as a mom, and so these bites are actually a snack that I feel good about eating myself, and a snack that I feel good about giving my kids. They're full of good for you stuff, and they really do give you some energy, like instead of grabbing a candy bar, grab one of these at your three o'clock afternoon crash. Before we get started, make sure that you click the red button and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any recipes just like this one. They're all super good. So let's jump in and get started on this easy no-bake recipe. The first ingredient is one and a half cups of quick oats. You could use old fashioned, but I recommend using quick oats for this recipe. Next, we're going to add about a half cup of pure pumpkin puree. Now, you want to make sure this isn't pumpkin pie filling, but just the puree. After that, we've got a half cup of natural peanut butter. Make sure that you're checking the ingredients label. Make sure that there's just peanuts in your peanut butter, not a ton of additional sugar. Otherwise, these aren't as healthy as they could be. Now, for seasonings, I've added some cinnamon and some pumpkin pie spice. Now the sweetener. We use honey in this recipe, and here's my trick for honey. Spray your measuring cup with some nonstick cooking spray before you measure out your honey. Honey is so hard to pour it all in and to clean it once you're done, but if you do that, it comes out so easily. After that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of flaxseed meal. This is what binds the bites together, so you don't want to miss this. Then we've got one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Pour that in. This ingredient is optional, but I like to add a quarter cup of vanilla protein powder just to add a little more protein to this snack. And the last one is optional, but I like to add a quarter cup of chocolate chips because let's be honest, pumpkin pie spice and chocolate chips go hand in hand. Mix it all together and then take a baking sheet lined with foil and you're gonna roll the dough into balls. So they're about one inch. Out of each batch, I can usually get about 24 balls. Once you get those all rolled, stick them in the freezer for about an hour and your snack is ready to eat. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get more yummy recipes just like this one. Also, check out these other recipe videos that we know your family will love. 